What's going on guys? Killer6 back with some more Borderlands 3 for you and today I want to show you guys the new and improved social features on Borderlands 3. Now Borderlands 2 didn't really have social features per se, but uh, this this game has taken it up a lot, like a huge notch. So first and foremost in the very first tab you can see roster. This will have all your friends or you can even sort about people that you recently met if you prefer to do that. Now once you do that, you can actually either join or invite a person to come play with you. Uh, you can also uh, check player options over on the side. Uh, you can view their inventory. So right now I can see that uh, BL3 Review 042, that's Jolt's dude. He's rocking a purple sniper, a purple shotgun. But those are considered epic on this game and a legendary shotgun. And he's rocking a green grenade for whatever reason, the blue shield and a blue class mod. Uh, it even shows what mission he's on. And uh, you can see his game completion, his exploration, his proven grounds percentage, weapon percentage, all that good stuff. So he's clearly on a new character, level 19, as you can see on there. Um, but yeah, you can also, one of the really cool features is you can edit your own status down here. You can say what you're doing, this way your friends know what you're up to. Uh, so for example, if I'm wanting to do, say, some mayhem mode, right? Because I'm a level 50 character, I want to do some mayhem mode. And um, you can also choose that you're looking for help. See down in there where I can just press square. I'm on a controller. So I can hit uh, square and say, I'm looking for help for mayhem mode. And that way your friends will be notified uh, right from their main screen, as a matter of fact. So uh, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool little feature there. Things that you can modify and change in that regard. All right, next tab over, we got matchmaking. Matchmaking is exactly what it sounds like. You can matchmake to play with people to play campaign. You can matchmake for circle of slaughter. And you can matchmake for even proving ground. So if you want to play with some people. Now, even better is you can even choose, see down at the bottom, you can choose what region you're playing with. You can play with people from Europe, North America, Asia, Australia. Obviously, if you set it on, if you leave it on auto, it's going to determine based on where you're at, which one's the best one for you. So clearly leave it there if, if you want a good online experience. Up next is shift. If you're not familiar with shift, shift is amazing. It's absolutely free loot. Um, so basically, uh, every so often, if you follow Borderlands on Twitter or a lot of the different people that uh, are involved in Borderlands on Twitter, they will post shift codes to give you free keys in Borderlands. Now, those keys have been for Borderlands 2, Borderlands 1, the pre-sequel, so that you can open up the golden chest, and inside the golden chest, you get loot. Now, in previous versions of the game, that golden chest would only give you like purples and blues, and not very many of them. Now in Borderlands 3, however, when you open the golden chest, you have chance to get legendary items and you get a lot more items from the golden chest than ever before. So absolutely, 100% you should sign up for this. It costs you nothing. It's completely free. If you haven't already, you can click new account, set you up a new account, or if you have an existing account, sign in. Another reason you want to do shift is it will uh, remember like rewards that are uh, from like the VIP program, for example, those are connected to your shift account as well. So definitely sign in for that. Up next, you've got one of the coolest features, if not the coolest feature in the game. Uh, well, not maybe not necessarily in the game, but in terms of the social stuff, how about that? You have the mailing system. Now, as you can see right here, Torg has sent me this email because I blew up a hundred guys using Torg tech. Those are rookie numbers. He, you know, he doesn't want me to get too confident. Those are rookie numbers. We got Torg, we call that a slow Tuesday, but I believe in you. That's why I'm giving you a new gun with more explosion potential. So every once in a while for completing weapon challenges, you will get mail from the different manufacturers. This is... This is, this is dope. This is just absolutely amazing. Uh, yet another, yet another amazing feature in this game. Uh, in addition to that, you can send mail to your friends. So let's say I want to send this masher to my buddy Jolt's dude. I can just do that. And if I hit confirm, it'll send that right over to him and he can enjoy that. So really cool feature. Highly recommend that you guys check out all the social features on there. Um, what else is there to say? I mean, there's also a, an option that you can connect to a LAN browser if you want to have your friends bring over their computers and you all just like group up in your basement eating Cheetos and drinking Mountain Dew and 
get a LAN party going on. That's not me making fun. I would have loved to have done that back in the day, but <laughs> I never had that kind of tech, so. Now, in addition to all those features that I showed you in the menu, you can also go into your network and social settings and change the different settings here as well, including the social notifications frequency. So say for example, Jolts was to send me an, a mail and I'm gonna cut to a little clip of him doing exactly that. See how it pops up on the screen so that you know that you just received something? It's a very cool feature, something that uh, has been needed in Borderlands games and I'm glad that we have it. You can also be notified anytime your friends get legendaries or they fight any, like they kill a, a boss and things like that. But if you don't wanna see that stuff, you can literally just go right here into the notifications and turn it off. <laughs> and uh, you can even adjust the, uh, the notification duration. Uh, you can choose who you accept from, uh, you know, uh, trade requests from then there's also the the echo cast stuff now if you ever do any kind of streaming then you're going to want to turn this on because the echo cast twitch extension is just absolutely awesome when enabled and actively streaming viewers of your stream can join in the mayhem and will be granted the ability to interact with your game through the power of borderlands echo cast technology this extension allows your viewers to inspect your vault hunters profile gear skill trees and your guardian rank even more exciting are the interactive elements or interactive events that can occur where viewers can earn loot that you discover in rare chests, celebrate with you as you level up, and sometimes become a viewer controlled badass. That to me is one of the coolest things right there. All right, so obviously you can turn on or off the, the red chest events if you don't want to be involved in this stuff. If you're not streaming, then you don't have to worry about this. This only will affect when you're streaming. You can set time limits on badass events, things like that. So if you, you, know, you don't want uh, too much of that happening, you can set it to 15 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever. But, you know, you can also leave it so that there's no cooldown. Uh, there's also a pinata event. When enabled and actively streaming, the game will generate a pinata event as your Vault Hunter increases in character level and Guardian rank. Viewers will be asked to vote on some of the goodies that will be stuffed inside the pinata. It's very cool. Um, the badass event, let's go over that real quick. When enabled and actively streaming, the game will generate a badass event occasionally as you come across them on your Borderlands adventure. Viewers will be asked to join the event, and if selected, the viewer's name will replace the badass's name in your game. All viewers will then be able to vote on actions that can be performed on the badass. Streamer versus chat, who will prevail? These are just absolutely amazing features, man. Like, holy crap. And the, uh, let's cover the red chest event because I feel like some people maybe don't even know about this. There's been a lot of people that have been like, I don't want to hear anything about Borderlands 3 until it comes out. I don't want any spoilers. So maybe some people don't know about the red chest event. So when, able, when enabled and actively streaming, the game will generate a red chest event or a rare chest event as you open rare chests during your Borderlands adventure. Viewers will be asked to join the event and if selected, will get to choose their favorite item from the loot in your chest. So if I open up a red chest and that red chest has four items and one of those items is a legendary, if you are one of the lucky viewers of the stream, you can choose to take that legendary very cool feature now in addition to all that with the uh the echo cast extension people will actually be able to look at my backpack see what gear i have on see my skill tree all that stuff so gone are the days of people saying k6 can you show your skill tree and me stopping the stream and showing the skill tree people can literally just click on that and see exactly what it is that's going on so I just, I love the, the social features, man. They are so good. Everything about this is great. I feel like the social features are absolutely amazing. As I said, uh, definitely, you know, utilize those things as much as possible. Man, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please take a second, hit that like button, hit subscribe for more, tap the bell icon to be notified anytime I post a new video. Lots and lots and lots of Borderlands 3 content coming for you guys in the, the coming days, weeks, months, and years. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the next one. Y'all have a great day.